Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm back with five all new spring decor DIYs. Each project is easy and affordable to create. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it. Now let's go ahead and get right into today's video. For the first DIY today, I'm going to be using this jar that I recently picked up from Dollar Tree and I've already removed the lid because I'm not going to be using it for this project. Then I'm using my Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory and I'm painting the entire jar and I did have to do a few different coats. Then once that was all dry, I'm using my folk art chalk paint in the color espresso and I'm dry brushing that on the entire jar. And as you can see here, it's really making all of those lines on the jar pop. Then for the inside of the jar, I'm going to be using three of these really beautiful pink tulips that I just recently picked up from Joanne Fabrics. They were originally $1.99 a piece, but I did get them half off at $1 a piece. And I'm also going to be using some of these stems that I already had in my craft stash. I believe those ones are from Michaels. So I'm just placing in the tulips first and then I'm placing all of the other flowers around the tulips. And then for the very last finishing touch, I'm just wrapping some jute twine around the top of the jar and tying a bow on the front. And this is what it looks like all finished, a really easy, simple, affordable project for this spring. Now moving into DIY number two. For this one, I'm using this small mini chalkboard from Dollar Tree. I thought this was super cute and I had never seen it before, so I think it's a new item at Dollar Tree. And the first thing I'm doing is just using my folk art wood tin in the color Walnut to stain all of the wood on this piece. I just used a paintbrush to apply the stain and then I wiped away the excess. I'm also going to be using two of these small scrap pieces of wood. They are four inches by one half inch and these did come in a pack of scrap wood from Hobby Lobby. And I'm using that same walnut wood tint to stain both of these pieces. I'm then going to be using this piece of cardstock. This did come in a paper like cardstock pack from Hobby Lobby and it's from the Paper Studio brand. So here I'm just placing the cardstock over top of the chalkboard portion of the sign and just tracing that out and then I'm going to be cutting that down to size. It doesn't have to be perfect because I am going to be gluing the wood pieces over top of this paper. Next, I'm applying some glue from my glue stick on the back side of my paper. I'm then applying the paper right over top of the chalkboard portion of my sign. Then I thought it would be really cute to add some of this rope trim around the entire inside portion of the sign around the edges. So here I'm just doing that and to attach the rope I'm using hot glue. Again, I did that around all of the edges except for the bottom because that's where I'm going to be attaching the other pieces of wood. Then I'm going to be hot gluing those two smaller wood pieces together. I'm then using hot glue to attach these two pieces at the very bottom of the cardstock right on the front of my sign. And now this is going to give me the appearance of a little flower box. The flowers that I'm going to be using in my flower box are these pink and purple mini flowers and these ones are from Michaels. But before I start attaching my flowers, I am going to hot glue some of this reindeer moss from Dollar Tree right on the very top wood piece just to give me some greenery before I start adding my flowers. I did cut the flowers off of their stems. I cut them so that they were just one single flower because it was a little bit easier for me to attach them this way. So I just used some hot glue on the stem of each flower and then I just placed it inside of that reindeer moss. And I switched it up. I had no real order that I was doing them. I would do a couple pink ones and then a couple purple ones, just kind of wherever I thought that they would look good. And I did attach the flowers along the entire flower box that I have. Then I'm going to be using this mini welcome word cutout. And this, I believe, came in like a set from the Target dollar spot. But I am not 100% on that. 
and I'm just painting it with my folk art matte acrylic paint in the color Vintage Rose. And then I'm using some hot glue to attach that welcome word right in the center of my sign. And this is what the piece looks like all finished. This one is so adorable. It is the perfect size for a tiered tray and it was super easy and affordable to create. Next is DIY number three. For this one, I'm using this sign that I got on clearance from Hobby Lobby, and I'm painting the entire inside portion with my Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory, and I did a few coats of that just to get all of those words on the sign covered up. Then for the frame of the sign, I'm painting that with my castle colored chalk paint from Folk Art, and again, I did a few coats of that paint as well. For the inside of the sign, I'm going to be using these three unfinished wood tulips and these are from Joanne Fabrics this year. They were on sale and I paid about a dollar a piece for them and they were in the Easter section of things at the store. I'm going to be painting the stems of them with the folk art paint in the color Spanish Moss and then for all of the flower parts of the tulips, I'm painting them with the wild rose color from folk art. Once the paint was dry, I thought it would be cute to add a little bit of dimension to the flowers. So in all of the places that have the slits in the wood, I took some of my ivory color from Waverly and just painted that over top of the slits just to give each flower a little bit of a dimension and I really liked the way that that looked. Before I attach my tulips, I did want to add some distressing to the front of my sign. So I'm using the same color that I used when painting the frame, Castle from Folk Art, and I'm just dry brushing that over top of all of the ivory. Then I did want to add a little bit more detail, so I'm taking some jute twine and I'm hot gluing that around all of the inside edges of my frame. And then for the very last step in this project, I'm using hot glue on the back side of all three of my tulips and attaching them to the front of my sign. And here is my tulip sign all finished. I think this one turned out super cute. It's really simple and was really easy to do. And not to mention, it's another affordable project that's perfect for spring. Moving right into DIY number four. For this one, I'm gonna be using one of these unfinished wood rectangle pieces from Dollar Tree. And the first thing I'm gonna be doing is using my go-to folk art wood tint in the color Walnut. I'm using a paintbrush to apply the stain or wood tint onto all of the edges of the sign and then just using a piece of paper towel to wipe away the excess. I'm then painting the inside of the frame with my Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory. In this project, I'm also going to be using this unfinished wood wildflower cutout. This did come in a pack of flower cutouts from Joanne Fabrics. I believe it came with like a box that you can make with it as well, but it was a better deal for me to get the entire kit with the flowers than to buy them separately. So that's why I'm using one from the kit. As you can see, I painted the stems of the flowers with my folk art paint in the color Spanish Moss. Then for the inside of the flowers, I'm using a folk art paint color called Vintage Tea Rose. And then for all of the outside portions of the flowers, I'm using the color Wild Rose from Folk Art. And the final step to this project is hot gluing my flowers right in the center of my frame. This is what the piece looks like all finished. I love the simplicity of it. Again, another really affordable project. It only cost me a couple dollars to create this, and I've seen similar pieces like this in retail stores for a lot more than just a couple dollars. Now for the fifth and final DIY today, I'm starting with one of these wood planks from Hobby Lobby. This is 48 inches by nine and one eighth. It was a little bit awkward to try to film the whole thing, but you can see it's just a big wood plank board and I'm gonna be making a wood leaner sign if you haven't already guessed. The first thing I'm gonna be doing is using my folk art wood tint in the color Walnut. No surprise there, it's my favorite. 
I'm using a paintbrush to apply the wood tin and then just wiping away the excess. And I did this to the entire board, the front, the sides, and the back. In this project, I'm going to be using this Hello Woodward cutout. I believe this one is from Hobby Lobby, but I'm not 100%. This was just in my craft stash, so I've had it for a while. I'm painting it with the Waverly paint in the color Ivory. And then I'm also using these letters that spell out the word spring. I did just recently get these from Michaels and they were on clearance for 99 cents a piece. At first, I thought it would be really cute to paint every single letter a different bright color for spring. And then I really didn't like the way that it looked once I had everything put together. So you'll see here in a second, I am going to be changing it. So um, once I have all of the letters painted and the paints all dry, I started just placing everything onto my wood plank just to make sure that it's centered before I start attaching each one of my letters. Then to attach the letters, I just placed hot glue on the back side of each one of them and then just placed them back down into place. But then, like I said, after I had everything all put together, I really didn't like the way that it looked. So what I ended up with doing was going back through and painting all of the letters with my ivory colored chalk paint and then I decided I wanted to add some flowers and butterflies around all of my letters. To get my butterfly and all of my flowers, I am going to be using the ones off of this stencil that I got from Amazon, and I will have it linked down in the description box if you guys are interested, but I just thought the flowers on this were really cute and they were a good size to use, so I ended up just placing the flowers pretty much like randomly on my sign where I wanted them to be, and then I stenciled the stems in the Spanish moss color from Folk Art, and then all of the flowers I stenciled with the wild rose color from Folk Art. And then for all of the butterflies that I ended up using, I did them in the color Vintage Tea Rose, also from Folk Art. And like I had said, there's no specific order when I was doing the butterflies and flowers. I just randomly would stencil them on, on my wood plank wherever I thought that they would look good. Here is the spring porch sign all finished. I did have to take a picture of it indoors because our weather here in Michigan has been a little crazy, but I can't wait to display this out on my porch come springtime. This was way more affordable to create myself than if I were to go and purchase one already done in stores. And I love how this one turned out. I'm really happy with the look of this one instead of the bright colors for every different letter. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I hope that you will consider subscribing. Please be sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I would love to hear in the comments below which project was your favorite. Thank you so much for watching.